Good morning, everyone. This is Todd Creekrock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Vulgaro map. This is day 336 of my little adventure here. And, well, I've tamed up two sheep here, and I'm trying to get them to have a baby sheep right now. And it's still... Can't seem to figure out the timer. It's 12 minutes, I think, is the timer on it. I've also overnight hatched another Spinosaur egg and got this 213 baby Spinosaur. I'm trying to keep it fed also. It needs an imprint in 1 hour and 11 minutes. Not really sure what I'm going to do today. But I've got 12 minutes to wait on that sheep. And I'm kind of wanting to tame a Ravenger and another Spinosaur, which is going to require mutton or cooked mutton. And I'll need to build a small trap for the Ravenger. So I'm probably just going to get out and farm up some stuff to make foundations and stuff with for about 12 minutes. Let's see here, how much time do I have exactly? I have 11 minutes now. See what I can craft up here. What's my Megatherium I'm carrying? Get the cotton off of him. And the fiber. Need to lighten his load a lot. I'm just going to store all this stuff on these Spinosaurs, because I'm not going to use these first two I tamed for anything other than storage right now. Man, I've just got entirely too much fiber and cotton in this game. Seem to find it hard to throw stuff on the ground, though. And I've got some wood and some... Throw that away. Throw that away. And I just cannot store all these mushrooms and stuff, and they are very heavy. <sighs> Spinosaur, you're just going to be a big chest, I guess. A big storage chest. to make up some foundations for a ravager trap. Still going to be a little while before I can do that though. If I even got any stone, I may not have any stone farmed up right now. Okay, that is my extra stuff. Not sure why it's in there though. I guess I went through the Got a little bit of wood in here and a little bit of thatch. I need stone though before I can make anything. I really don't have much. Let's see if we can craft us up a few foundations here. Only two. I'm sure I'm stone is what I'm missing to make more. Yep. Put all this stuff in here for now. We're gonna have to do some stone harvesting. Okay, let's go see about that baby sheep, how it's doing. Eight minutes, so let's go chop up some stone for eight minutes. See where's a good place to do that. I'm gonna go right up here, I think. I'm probably gonna get up here and there ain't gonna be no stone or very little. Yeah, there's quite a bit up here. This should be good. 
Would like to do some other stuff, but I've got to hang around until that sheep is born. And then actually what I'm probably going to do after that is I'm going to go tame another sheep. Because I need a lot of mutton and a lot of cooked mutton if I'm going to do any taming. Like I said, I would really like to tame a Ravager here pretty soon. I've got one found. Got one found over the other side of the swampy area. It's a 145. But I'm going to have to build up a little trap for it and have a bunch of cooked mutton to feed it. I did do a little research. Seems the Ravagers like cooked mutton. So I've got to get all that prepared. There's a dire bear over here. I do need to tame a dire bear also. What level is this guy? Oh, I could tame that guy. That would be nice. I have to set up a trap for him also, though. And I would need honey to feed it. Let's go work on us a trap. We might just tame a dire bear here pretty soon also. I don't know. We put us up a feeding trough out here so we wouldn't have to look into everybody's inventory every time we do something. Okay, well, you at six minutes. Make up a few more foundations. wood and thatch to do it with. Wow, that only gives me two more. Still got quite a bit of stone left. What am I short on this time? Just wood or thatch? I may just be short on thatch. I might be able to make a little bit more here. Grab a little more thatch. Yep, we can definitely do more. Five more of those. Not really sure how big I need to build a trap for a bear though. Would one high be enough to trap a bear? What do I need to make ramps here? Right, probably some fiber. Probably more wood. Yep, I am completely out of wood now. And let's just store all this building materials in this chest, I think. And we need us some berries to feed the baby sheep with. How you doing, Mega 3? Have you got plenty of berries on you? Not really. See how far away our baby sheep is. Let's see, how much do you like here? Four minutes. Still making fertilize, even though I'm not sure the crop plots down here is even going to work. But I'll go back and check that out at some point, see if it's going to. And you're still an hour away from imprint. I need to collect up a few berries for the sheep. I think I see a green supply drop. Let's go grab that. Maybe I'll come up and get something good down here. Probably not, but worth a look. 
we got a crop plot blueprint. Yay. That's what we needed. I know all these berries are going to be pretty much useless, but feed the sheep anyway with them. And I've got a couple of minutes here, so I might as well harvest the rest of this stone up here. I do need wood, is what I need to remember. Hard to believe these little stones give you as much as they do. Collect this up and get back over and check on that sheep. And we've still got a baby spinosaur that needs imprinting in about an hour. How are you doing here? 47 seconds while wow, you're about ready then. Let's dump this stone off here and, and uh, claim that baby sheep. seconds on the baby sheep. We got a 209 and a 194. So it should be somewhere in the 200s. Hopefully. Come on, imprint on him. I can't seem to get on him. Awful tiny, 206 female, though that is very good actually. Yep, that is a really good sheep. It's got 511 melee damage. Why would it have that high melee damage? So, one of you sheeps have 500 melee. Yep, this one has 500 melee. Wow. Sheep with 500 melee. Let's see. Let's just let you stay right there. Go get some berries for him. Let's see. A stack of each probably be fine. Bunch of narco berries there. Guess I'm gonna go ahead and take those. Boy, the sheep is tiny. And it can't hold very many berries, can it? I'm surely not gonna have to sit here and babysit this thing, am I? Sure looking like I might have to. Look at my feeding trough. We need to keep it up to date. It's got quite a few berries in it, and it's got meat also. 
Even got some mushrooms in there. How you doing, baby Spino? You don't good on meat? Wow, there's a lot of spoiled meat there, ain't it? I forgot I brought all that down here. I brought all that down here to tame Carcanos with. So I've actually got a ton of spoiled meat now. More than I'll ever need. So let's make up a few more narcotics. Check on the baby sheep again and we gotta get out and do some stuff. Narcotics pile's getting pretty big now. Put this in here with the building materials. And I'm going to have to go get wood in order to make ramps. But I probably ain't going to do that right now. Here, baby Spino. You are juvenile, so you're probably eating out of the feeding trough by now. Just put this meat in the feeding trough then. And these berries also, I guess. Let's toss that... Toss that uh, blueprint for a medium crop plot, because we sure don't need that. More berries. I wonder if sheep would eat mushrooms. I don't know. Should I put mushrooms in a sheep? I think it's probably a waste of time. But I don't know that for a fact. I just think it's probably a waste of time. This thing is just tiny. So tiny I can't get to its inventory. He really likes the yellow berries, don't he? How long is it going to take him to get to Juvenile? That's a pretty sheep. White with green. Must have got some off of both of these guys. I guess the dad, though, is basically white and green. You're going to make it hard for me to go out and explore if you don't turn Juvenile pretty quick. Yep, I've got to get out and do some stuff anyway. I'm gonna go tame another another sheep. Let's see, this is the one I've been leveling up right here. This is my rider, so I'm gonna continue leveling this guy up. This one needs an imprint in 53 minutes. I need my veggie cakes if I'm going to tame another sheep. What's the spoil time on these cakes in my inventory? 52 minutes. Let's go make it through and let me check this baby sheep one more time and then we need to go. Let's throw as many of these on him as I can. Hopefully it'll be juvenile pretty soon. Come on, where's your inventory at? Okay, how fast is this thing mature? 7%, it doesn't really say, but it needs to imprint an hour. Probably not going to be able to imprint a sheep. I probably shouldn't put the veggie cakes on him because he will probably eat them. But they keep a lot longer. Yep, 
It is what time of day? Is it fifteen hundred hours? Wow, I'm just barely gonna have time to go check on that other sheep, and I need a need a pokeball before I go. Need a cryopod. Be crazy to go over there without these. Why is they spoiled meat in there? That is one thing you do not need to put in a chest ever, is spoiled meat. And canteens, we need all those. I don't really need the climbing picks, I don't guess. Come on, make it there, and we got to get with it here. We got another little sheep to tame. We actually want to tame this dire bear up on the hill, but I'm still not ready for that. I'm gonna make my way over here. I do know where one more sheep is. I'm gonna try to tame it so I can get the mutton farm going. Then once I get some mutton cooked up and some extra mutton for feeding animals, I'm probably going to tame another Spinosaur and a Ravager. There was a 145 dire bear right up here, and it seems to have vanished. But it doesn't really matter because I did find another 145. Just curious what happened to the one that was up here. It's definitely not here though. But let's get on and tame that other sheep we found. Hopefully it's a female and that way we can get extra, get the breeding going a lot faster. And I just recalled why all that stuff was in that chest because I had to move those sheep and they can't carry much weight so I had to dump all my inventory. So I could ride on a sheep. Come on, make it through him. We got a little bit of a journey to go here. It's getting pretty late in the day. And we've got that reading again. Must be an overraptor there, bunny overraptor 150. There's a do dodicurus, dodicurus, however you say it. One or the other, or just call it a dodi. track I did spot a 145 Ravager the other day it's another thing that I've I know I've talked about it I kind of want to tame what levels this bird here come on make it through him wow I just cannot see come on on the ground there and I can definitely scope you if you're on the ground. Fifty-five, you're a pretty one, but I'm not gonna tame a fifty-five. I'm sure I've seen that one before. And it's wasting my time looking at it. I think I've got one on my shoulder right now. It's hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, he's on there. And I was considering trying to tame this Dodie Curious, but it'd take like two in-game days to do it. I just don't know if I want to put out that much time. And I don't really need stone all that bad. I do need to build a few traps. I need to build a Ravager trap and a Dire Bear trap. But I guess I'll just rely on my hatchet to do all that stuff with. Let's go make it through and we got a sheep to tame. If we can find it again. There might be another one spawned over here by now. Besides the one we're going to tame. Let's have a quick look down here. Yeah, I don't see nothing. You, I don't know how I didn't fall right there. I was walking on air for sure. I 
I did spot another sheep over here a few days back on a ridge. And I thought since I had these veggie cakes, they're not going to last all that long anyway. I'd come over here and go ahead and try to tame it. Right about where that green supply drop is coming down is where that sheep should be at. There is some really good spinosaurs and carcanos over here around this lake. But I don't have a trap set up over here and it would take a lot of materials to make a second trap for those guys. I might do it anyway eventually. Wow, what was that? A water jar blueprint? That was just awesome drop right there. That was almost as good as that crop plot blueprint I got. Oh, yeah, where's the sheep now? He was right in here, I'm sure. Or she. I'm kind of hoping it is a female sheep. I don't remember. Ah, oh, there it is. You hid really well, didn't you? It is a female. What level are you? 95, 85. Don't care, I'm going to tame you anyway, whatever level you are. Because I've got to get a mutton farm going here. Come here, where are you going? You are at 127, so you're the lowest one I've got. But that doesn't really matter. Okay, what are we going to do? We're going to get back to base and check on our sheep, the baby sheep. I want to look around just a little bit over here before I do that, though. See what's down here in the lake today. Check on that spinous right in the middle. I think I've scoped him before, and he's pretty low level. Yep, real low level. That was a really good carcanose over in this direction, but I don't see it now. My luck, all the good stuff goes away. I'm going to fill up my cantina while I'm here. There's another Spinosaur. That is a 130. That is a pretty good one. But I'm not set up to tame any Spinosaurus right now. I've got my trap over at the other area. Bob Dog, what level are you? 60, you're not a very good one. And there's a bunch of really good Carcanos up this hill also. Yep, I'm going to eventually tame me a Carcanos. It might take me a while to get ready for that, but I'll eventually do it. And maybe even a Baryonyx. I was wanting to tame a Baryonyx up at the surface, but I never could find a good one. But there's definitely some good ones down here. I'm going to run over here on the other side of this little flat area and see if there's any more sheep. Then I need to get on back to my base. And then maybe start farming up some wood to finish up a trap for a dire bar. And I kind of need to see if I can collect honey without getting killed also. That's probably going to be a real job there, getting honey without dying down here. I could make some bug repellent, I could do it. We're still getting these bunny dodo eggs. And it's getting kind of late in the day, I think, so I better head on back. There doesn't appear to be any more sheep over here. More bulb dogs. I'm sure I've checked these guys before. We've got that thing that's little skull lid up there like a some max level creature back there. But I still don't even know for sure if that's what that is. Come on, Megatherium, let's get back toward base. We got a baby sheep that might need fed. I think it'll probably be eaten out of the trough by now. Hopefully it'll be juvenile. And then we've got a baby spinosaur that needs an imprint. And 
about 50 minutes. That'll be into tomorrow, though. Then we're probably going to try to knock out a dire bar since we get the stuff crafted up to do it with. Oh goodness, I have went the wrong way. What is that? Most chomps, yep. And there's the really good Dodictrus. And there's another green supply drop. I wonder if it can top the the jar blueprint or the crop plot blueprint I've got out of the last two of them. Fixing to find out, ain't we? This one will probably be... Just let me guess. It will be a... A compass blueprint. Get out of the way, track. Let's see what we get here. We got some ghillie boots. That's much better than I expected. Actually, it's a pretty good pair of ghillie boots. Probably better than the ones I'm wearing. I'm wearing 35s. These are 51s. Let's use these. Let's throw away the water jar blueprint also. And there's a roll rat. I do need to tame a roll rat, but if I get that dire bear tamed, it should be no problem for me to get plenty of honey. And I can tame me a roll rat. It is 1900 hours. That's why it's looking dark. Let's see if we can get back to base before it gets completely dark. And that looks like another supply drop. I don't know what the green light is. I guess it's just a reflection on the trees off of this supply drop. Maybe this one will give me something else really good. I don't know what though. Maybe some pre-made bug repellent would be really good. This one's giving me another crop plot blueprint. Wow, another one of those. I just threw one of those down not long ago. Another medium crop plot blueprint and a flashlight attachment for a gun. I guess the flashlight thing would be pretty good under in caves and stuff. But I've never really used it. I use the scope attachment sometimes. There's also a laser attachment, which I've never used. And I see another drop. Boy, the drops are just coming down right now, aren't they? Might as well take advantage of them. Is something good. I don't know what it would be though. It's got a full set of low level cloth armor in it, which is really useless. Let's go Omega Therium. Need to get back to base, check on the baby sheep and the baby Spinosaur. What's the odds that that other? Supply drop is down right now since we've got three in a row. There it is down. There you go. Four drops in a row. I guess if you time it just right, you can get a bunch of stuff down here. get out of this one. Glow sticks and a pretty nice turtle saddle, but it's only a blueprint though. Journeyman turtle saddle blueprint. I haven't tamed a turtle in this game at all yet. There is a nice looking one down here though. I probably shouldn't consider taming it. But they're really super slow and don't really know what you can use them for. You can use them to tame giant squid if you had them up at the surface but it'd take you forever to walk one out you're best just stick it in the cryopod and take it up. Boy that Spinosaurus sure growed ain't it? 
See how the sheep looks. It's grown a lot too. It's about doubled in size. And it is still got some food and it is juvenile, so it should be in good shape. Are you within range of the feeding trough? Yep, you are. And then I've got another sheep here we can put together with you guys. Let's get this one out of the way really quick here. Come here, baby sheep. Get you up this way so I can have room to lay this other one out. We'll probably go ahead and mate it because we need sheep as fast as possible. We need to get the sheep train going. Okay, let's go ahead and mate these, I guess. That'll be another baby sheep. This one likes three hours being ready to mate again. That's a pretty white on that one. But anyway, we got 36 minutes wait on this baby Spinosaur to need imprint. And we're waiting on the sheeps to mate, and we're all going to do tonight is gather wood and try to build us a dire bear trap. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Tile Creek Rock and the sheep farm going on. Signing out.